Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I am your host, The Cloudy Crone. Today, we are here at the grand finale of My Hero Academia Season 7, Episode 21. And in the last episode, we had what was probably my favorite episode this season. I'm not even gonna lie, just because, as you can probably see over here, I've always been a huge Toga fan. I've loved Toga ever since we first met her in the series, and now to see her story finally come full circle, to see her finally get the love that she deserves, the love that she never got from her parents, she never got from anybody, and to see her get it from Ochiko of all people, it's it was just perfect. It was too perfect. But outside of that, we still have a lot left to this war we have going on here. We still have All Might versus All for One, which we have to look forward to, and we also have Death Deku versus Shigaraki. I doubt they're gonna have enough time to wrap everything up in this episode right here. So I wonder if they're going to release the rest of this series as another season or if it's just going to be like, I don't know, some sort of special, maybe a movie. I know they already have a movie coming out, so probably not. But regardless, I'm very much looking forward to what they actually get done in this episode right here. So if you guys are excited for the episode, make sure to leave a like. While you're down there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you guys know whenever I drop a brand new reaction. But with that out of the way, let's get into this episode. All right, we got the twice clones kind of fizzling away. Now that Toga's had a bit of a change of heart. Dang. Dude, that's so crazy. How do you imagine that even feels to be like burned yet freezing at the same time? Whoa, that was inches away. Look, it even scratched him. What? Oh, the downside. Jeez, man, that face. Oh, my God. A smile that can make a grown man cry, dude. <laughs> Dang, look at her hair, man. Okay, she's turned into her. Oh! No, 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 no. This isn't going the way I think it is, is it? Oh man, no! I mean, it is a oh my gosh, man! It, I think it it make for a poetic ending, but it just sucks because I'd love to see where Ochiko and uh, Toga's friendship could go from here. Like, I definitely could imagine us getting like a little filler episode of them. Like a montage of them like hanging out in a coffee shop or just going out and just being girls together. But dude, okay, so my guess, right, is that she said that she's lost too much blood. So I'm guessing what she's going to do here is she's going to use those tube things to maybe like transfer some of her blood into Ochako to save her. Which would be obviously sacrificing herself. That's the way that I think this is going to go down. Because how else could she save her? She needs blood desperately and she's the only person here. Oh, and she... Oh, my, wait, that's so crazy. Maybe I might be overthinking this, but do you think she transformed into Ochiko so that she would have the same blood type as Ochiko? Before transferring it to- that's so crazy, bro! I didn't even think about that. I might be overthinking it. Wow. Now she's passing it on. Oh, and she's using the syringe to sew up her wounds? 
See, someone last episode said that if Toga's childhood wasn't so cruel, she'd probably be in the medical field right now, and I could see it 100%. Just think about how much good she could have done if everybody just wasn't trash to her. Oh! Wow! Oh man. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this might be like the most emotional I've ever felt while <laughs> watching my hero. Exactly, like imagine what could have been, man. There you go! There you go! She could have saved lives, bro. Yep. Cutest smile in the world. The crazy thing is, bro, like, this has got me wondering what good the other villains could have done if society didn't turn their backs on them. I feel like no one ever thinks about that. Like, none of the people in this society think about that. Okay. No! Oh, what the heck? Wait! <laughs> no, this is sick. Freaking Iron Man suit, dude. He brought out the suitcase. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Ah, oh, that's sick. Ah, oh, the smile. Oh! What the heck? He looks like um. What's his name? Uh. He's he's a speedster, I think in Marvel. What's it? I think it's like Blur or something. Is is that his name? He looks kind of like Blur. I mess with it, dude. I like the cape. That's like made out of metal. We got freaking Iron Might here, dude. Oh, <laughs> uh, we'll see about that. I don't know. And really, all we need to do is stall him for long enough until his quirk rewinds himself. Mm -hmm. Look at dude, that cape, bro. That's so fire. There we go. He's on the move. What? Let's see. Okay. Smart. There you go. He's been taking notes. Mm-hmm. There we go. And that's exactly where we come in. Look at that. My man had prep time. See, I gotta see this movie, man. I gotta go back and watch all the movies. I haven't seen any of them. Yep. And that's the same here. Dang, that's so fire. I've never fought once thinking that I was gonna lose. Even without a quirk. There you go. Shoot style! It's all coming full circle, bro. It's all coming full circle, bro. Oh, that's so sick. First, we had Deku, who was like copy, kind of copying, or I guess uh, inspiring his super moves from All Might, and now we have it the other way around, with All Might using Deku's shoot style that he came up with. This is so sick, man. 
I also love how poetic it is. Yep, how do you feel, buddy? <laughs> He's kicking him with the same foot. Oh no. Jesus. Oh! He just put everything together. Mm-hmm. Let him burn himself out. Tsuku Yomi? Mm. Dude, the fact that he sounds so much younger is so unexpected. Super acid? Oh, is this from Mina? There we go. One of peace, and then he went on to become the symbol of peace. That's so fire. Yep. Just as persistent as he was. All oh, the eyes, dude. Oh, okay, I thought that was the case, but now it seems they're confirming it. <laughs> oh man, you know this is getting under his skin. And he's still got more. Dude is laughing his heart out at the brink of death. Bro, oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm like fanboy so much this episode, but that's so sick, how his quirks, or not quirks, but the different like mechanics of his suit are all inspired by the different students from class 1A, like right there we saw he had, um, what's his name, is it Ojiro? He had like Ojiro's tail, he had Shoji's tentacles. Earlier, he had a cloak called Tsukuyomi. I think, um, I think Tokoyami also had a move called Tsukuyomi or something like that. I could be completely wrong. And then he shoot style from Deku. Like, that's, you can tell so much thought and creativity. And the acid from Mina. So much thought and creativity went into this suit. Oh, he can see it! We gotta keep fighting too! Look at this man! <laughs> Shikaraki! This man is a menace! And now he's finally back. And then they end it there, man! Oh my god! I don't think we've ever had a season end on a cliffhanger like that. That's crazy. Mid battle, bro. I thought we were at least gonna finish the All Might battle here. Okay, so I, I see that there is an ending scene here. It's not a very long one, but there is an ending scene. So let's see what we got here. Oh, wow. That's fire. Okay. So yeah, it wasn't anything crazy. But I love how it showed that like bloody poster. I think honestly that was like a, a bit of a bad omen. Like maybe next season we might be getting the, the death of All Might. Because you have the poster with him on it and there's blood splattered on it. Or maybe they're just trying to, you know, throw us for a loop. Maybe they want us to think that this is going to be the end of All Might. And he's going to bounce back. But anyways, that was the end of the episode. And my question of the day for you all is going to be... What are your thoughts on All Might suit that we got here? Number one, were you expecting it, right? Because I, I don't know what I was expecting, but I was not expecting a freaking Iron Man suit to jump out of that suitcase. But let me know what you were expecting going into this fight, and what did you think of the execution of this fight? 
how he has this suit that's kind of inspired by all of his different students let me know what you think in the comment section down below and with that i am going to head out thank you all so much for watching this far into the video and i will catch you all in the next one have a good one